So the other day I did a video on basic SQL commands, but it didn't include joins, and joins are an essential part of using SQL. The reason I didn't include them is because I felt like they deserved an entire video to themselves just because there's that much to cover, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I had to scrap my entire last recording because I accidentally had my webcam over the commands the entire time and I felt like that was going to really ruin the video. So I've decided to start again. So I've made some data before I actually started recording the video so we can actually do our joins. So I've got a cat table, which has the names of cats and IDs associated with them. And I have a dog table, which has the names of dogs and IDs of dogs associated with them as you would expect. So if we just do a basic join statement, not worrying about anything like aliasing or anything like that. So if we go select star from, let's say from the cat table, and then we join the dog table. So when you want to do a join, you use a join keyword and then the table you want to join on. And then we do on, and then we say the attributes that we want to join on. And because both tables have a name attribute, which is the attribute we're going to be joining on in this case, we have to also list out the name of the table. So if we go cat.name, similar to the way you would do it in a object oriented programming language where you do the object dot the attribute. So cat.name and then also dog.name. And as we can see, we've got two rows with four attributes in each. But the issue we have here is that we don't actually know what attributes come from which tables because the attributes are named the same. So there actually is a way we can address this and that is from what I mentioned before with aliasing. So what we can actually do is we can go cat.id equal, uh, sorry, not equals, as cat ID. It's not the same in every version of SQL, but I know that SQL Server does it like this, and I'm pretty sure SQL Lite does. Maybe Oracle's version of SQL does it a bit differently. I feel like it does, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I've used it. So then we can go cat.name as cat name, and I think you get the idea, so I'll skip ahead to when this is done. So I'll give you a brief look at this before I decide to run it. And now we run that and we can see that each of the attributes are now named in a way that we can actually understand them. The results themselves haven't changed, but now we can identify what we actually want. But we don't actually have to list everything out if we don't want it. So say we don't want the dog name, for example, we can just remove that part and it gives us the same results with that attribute locked off. So I do want that, so we're gonna keep it. What we've been doing this entire time is what's known as a inner join. So an inner join, if you've done sets before, so basically it is the intersect between the two tables. The intersect is, if you think of a Venn diagram, it's that part in the middle where there are matches from both of the results on either side. So this is where there is a match between the dog table and the cat table on the name so in this case, on the name Bella and on the name Lucy. So the row that has the name Bella and the row that has the name Bella in the cat and the dog table, those are now joined together in this result. And I should have added them in different orders so we could actually see different IDs in here, but I didn't do that and that was my mistake. So we don't have to do an inner join. We also have the option of doing something called a outer join. And an outer join is basically one side of the Venn diagram plus the intersection. So if we say, actually saying plus the intersection is kind of irrelevant because one side of the Venn diagram, if you take that full circle, includes the intersection. I'll put a graphic on screen so I can explain what I'm saying because I'm not great at verbally explaining a graphical idea, I guess. So if we do a left join, that'll take everything that is in the left side of the our metaphorical Venn diagram, which in this case is the cat. And as we can see, that is on the left side of the left join. So if that makes it easier to understand. So we can also do a right join. So this will do the opposite where everything that's in the cat table, it'll keep everything that's in the dog table. And that basically has the opposite result in this case. But the thing about a right join is you actually don't ever need it. So you can always rearrange a statement so that your basically your left and your right is switched. So if we instead do a left join where the dog is on the left side, so switch that to left, all we've done is switch the cat and the dog around and we'll get the same result that we've got here. There are versions of SQL that don't actually have right joins because of this reason. My SQL does, but 
it's not something you can always guarantee to be there. So there's one other kind of join, and that is a full join. So basically a full join is you take everything that is in both tables. So if we do that, we have to remove this on because there's no point matching on something when you're matching every single thing in the tables. If you try to do this in MySQL, it will throw an error. So if we remove that, put the, sem uh, put the semicolon, yeah, semicolon back, and we do full join, and we also have to remove these attribute names, I guess. I'm not sure if this is a problem with MySQL or something, but I guess you can't do aliases in a full join. I haven't done full joins before, so I hadn't actually run into this problem. I tested it off camera and it works when you just do a star instead. So if we can run that and we get the full join of both tables. It does bother me a little that you can't alias. There might be a way to do it, but it's not seeming to work for me. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. If you like this video and you learned something new about SQL or you learned something about joins, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more from my channel, remember to hit the little bell icon below and maybe you'll get notifications. But if you don't, then you can follow my Twitter account where I post video updates and various other things, mainly video updates. So it's pretty much just a video mailing list. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for me. So I'm out.